My name is Robert with Web Developer Ninja and today I want to show you how to do some web scraping with Node.js and Cheerio. So to start we are going to install request. So we're going to say bar request equals require. And then we're request. And then we're going to make sure we install it. So we're going to say npm install request. Save that. And the next thing that we're going to need is Cheerio. Cheerio is going to be what is going to be doing the, the heavy lifting of the scraping. And it's really, it's jQuery, so front end jQuery on the back end. So we're gonna be able to do jQuery selectors um, to find things in the DOM on the back end. So it's really, really easy, really good way to, to use to do some web scraping. So now that we've got our, our modules installed, we're going to use request and we are going to request we're gonna to go to movie showtimes and this is Google so we're gonna we're just gonna um, just for the for this demo we're going to get the movie names so we're gonna have a list of movie names on this page so to start let's grab the URL and that is going to be the request first argument is going to be the URL that we're, URL that we're going to scrape the next, then we're going to pass it, pass it a function, and we are going to have the first first argument here that's going to be passed through is error, error. then it's going to be response and HTML. And just to make sure that everything's working great, let's take a look at our HTML, and that's going to make sure that our request is working. So here, and we just ran that. And oh, npm start. All right, so we should see HTML. Perfect. That looks like HTML. So now we've got our HTML. Our request is working. Now we're going to run our request HTML value through Cheerio. And um, we're actually going to set up the variable so it looks very, very similar to jQuery. So we're going to say var dollar equals Cheerio dot load HTML. So now the syntax to use it is use Cheerio is just like jQuery. So we have our selector here, and then we're going to do something. And so let's go out and find our selector that we're going to use. Let's go ahead and inspect element on the title name. And all I'm doing is in Chrome, right, right clicking and inspecting, and that goes to this awesome inspector tool. So this looks like if we did. So we'll do div. We probably don't even need the div. So we're going to say class of DESC and then a child H2 element. And then that should be, if we run it to text, it should be this, the name. So let's go ahead and grab the class of DESC. So I'm going to copy that. Paste it. DESC and the H2. This one. And now, since there's going to be, there should be a couple of these, there's actually like 10 of them, um, we're going to do the jQuery. Now we have jQuery methods that we can use. And all the different methods of documentation, I'll leave a link in the description for getting more of those. But we're going to use the method each. Oop. And then it's going to be, we're going to be passing it a function. And we're going to have I and element. And then what we want to do is we're going to say, so each, the first, first one we're going to do is we're going to define the, the DOM node. So we're going to say var node equals dollar. And we're going to do the, the jQuery selector again, that's Cheerio. And this. So this is going to refer to this, this node. And to get the text, we are going to say node.text. And now if we say console.log text, this should log out a list of the movie titles. So let's close our server and npm start. 
And as you can see, there is a list of movie movie title names. So that is the Divergent series all the way down. So that's that. So that's just um, a real small example on how to use Cheerio request library and some Node.js to do some web scraping. Uh, normally, if you're doing this larger scale, you'd want to get more information. It'd be a lot more scraping and then doing stuff with the data. But if you want more information, I've also got a link to some good documentation for more information. And stay tuned for next time, and we'll have some awesome web scraping videos. See ya.